What's going on everybody? This is Manny from Low Tech and today we're doing a follow-up video to my tutorial on how to install Android 10 on your Nintendo Switch, the official Switch root build. I've had a lot of people ask, how do I root my device now that I have my Android 10 on Nintendo Switch? So this is going to be a tutorial on how to root Android 10 on your Switch. We're going to be using Magisk, the latest version, which as of this video is 22.0, and we're going to go through the steps. And once you install it, you're pretty much rooted and you can do whatever it is that you want to do with your rooted Android device. Before we get into it, if you find the video informative, if you enjoy the video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much. And now let's get into the steps on how to get your Android 10 build rooted. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to this GitHub page. I'll put a link in the description. It's going to take you to the Magisk releases. You're going to want to go with the latest. As of this video, it's 22.0. You're going to want to download this first one, .apk. I've already downloaded it. Once it's downloaded, you're going to want to change the extension. So you're going to rename it. Instead of .apk, you're going to change it to .zip. Select yes, and it's going to turn it into a zip file. Okay. The next thing you don't want to do is I've already shut down your switch. Plug in your SD card to your computer. It'll open up the partition that was originally created when we first did this guide. So you'll see I've deleted some of the uh, the install and whatnot. I've gotten rid of that, but some of it is still here. You'll need your Hikate, obviously, but these are some debug logs and stuff. But either way, you're going to want to take Magisk and drop it in there. And make sure it is zipped. Do not unzip it. Once that's done, you can eject your SD card. And then we're going to go boot into our payload, and I'll meet you at the Hakate screen. So once you've used your method of sending a payload and you're in Hakate, you're going to want to go to the More Configurations tab, hold down the Volume Up key, then select Switch Root for Android 10. You're going to hold it until the TWRP appears, and once you're in, you'll let that boot up. Once TWRP loads, you're going to hit the Install button, then you're going to hit the right at the top up a level. Then you're going to go to external SD. You're going to find the uh, Magisk. Click it. Swipe to confirm flash. And you're going to let that run its course. Once that's done, you'll hit the back button all the way back to reboot, and then you can reboot to the bootloader. Once you're back in Hakate, you're going to go to your more configs and get into your Android 10. Once Android is booted back up again, you're going to want to go into your apps, find Magisk. It's going to prompt you to upgrade it to the full version. Press OK. That's going to download. And then you're going to have to go into your settings and allow unknown apps to be installed from the source. So hit the settings and just press the little slider over. Then you can go back. Now it'll let you install. Hit install. It'll go through the install process. Once it is done, you can push open. If your screen loads up to this, then congratulations, you've rooted your device with Magisk. You can hit the little puzzle piece. That'll give you a long list of different modules that you can install, which enable various different things that you can now do on your Android device. So scroll through that, check it out. 
The other tabs are for your logs and for super user app requests. Well, that's it. That's how you root your Android 10 on Nintendo Switch using Magisk. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section. Reach out on Reddit or Facebook. Send me a message, and I'll get right back to you. Try to help you out. Shouldn't have any issues. Pretty straightforward. Just make sure you follow the steps, and you shouldn't have any issues. So I appreciate everybody for watching, and I hope that you all... Have a good day.